If you are having a problem printing with the Epson Workforce 3730, uh, please stay tuned because today we're going to be going into a solution for that problem. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with Best Printers at bestprinterstech.com. Uh, today we're going to be repairing the Epson Workforce 3730. Basically, if you're having any issues with your print quality, a certain color isn't printing, you have lines coming up where they shouldn't be, or you have an overall and general print quality issue, printing that has been diminished, faded, or anything like that, Today I'm going to be showing you how to solve that problem. Now I do ask that you stick with me from the beginning all the way until the end of the video because all the information and instructions in this video are going to be vital to you being able to solve this problem. However, I do have a product that is going to help you with this problem and it's the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. The best cleaning kit on the market includes a 20 milliliter syringe. Um, there is There are instructions in the packaging of this product so I will leave a link in the description below uh, for the best printers cleaning kit anytime during the video you can go down there and get it I have fixed hundreds of printers with this product and hundreds of people have been able to solve their problem with this product now there will be some other um, products and services that I end up mentioning throughout the video anything that I talk about there will be a link to below the best printers cleaning kit uh, in the description below so the very first link will be the best printers cleaning kit. Under that, all the other information that I end up talking about. If this video ends up being helpful to you, please make sure to like this video. And also make sure to subscribe if you uh, wanted to stay up to date with uh, printer maintenance, uh, new printers that are coming out, um, or just have that as a reference for a future printer repair. Also, if you have any questions at all about what I'm doing here in the video, uh, make sure to comment below. All right, you guys, that's all I have for now. So without further ado, let's get right into the repair. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this repair is the Best Printers Cleaning Kit, of course, that's gonna come with the syringe, the cleaning solution, and you're also gonna need a paper towel that you'll have laying around and, you know, uh, some plastic gloves. Okay, getting right into it, you've got the printer here. You're gonna go right into your maintenance and you're gonna print a head nozzle check. Now, this is very important step because uh, the reason you're doing this is to show you exactly what colors you um, you need to focus on when you get to the print head, which we'll get to later. Okay, you're going to want to keep this report with you, uh, have it on the side there as you're doing this, uh, this repair. And next, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the uh, ink drop there and you're gonna click on replace ink cartridges. What this is going to do is it's gonna make the print head move the, um, or the printer move the print head to the position where you can work on it. And then you're gonna unplug the power cable. Okay, once that is unplugged, uh, you're then able to remove the ink. Now I will spend just a little moment here on the ink Ink is the main culprit for this problem. A lot of times in the system, it'll show that you have ink when in reality you're running low. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for some brand new ink for this printer. And um, you're gonna wanna have a fresh set of ink when you're doing this. Okay, so just make sure from now on that you uh, keep a fresh set of ink in the printer. So uh, next is the paper towel. Of course, this is something you should have laying around. If you don't, just grab some from the store. You're gonna to wanna to fold it up really nice and tight like this uh, so that you can fit it under the print head. You're gonna fit it on that, put it down, lay it on that, that bottom rack, and then you're gonna move the print head over the paper towel. And um, this is the best way possible to make sure that you don't end up having a mess. And this does a really good job of just making sure everything is clean. Uh, and catching all the ink that's going to be coming out of the print head and you'll see that in just a moment okay now and at this point you are going to be using the best printers cleaning kit uh, you are going to have a 20 milliliter syringe you're going to want to fill it up all the way to the brim uh, if you haven't already gotten yours again link in the description below uh, go ahead and get it you can get it within a day or two with the prime okay and at this point you're going to want to have your uh, nozzle report um, laying out in front of you and you can see here it's there's a pattern on the print head uh, that follows the pattern on this report so what you're doing here is you're trying to look at what is the worst color and that is what you're going to work on first 
So you're going to grab your syringe, the end of it, uh, and you're going to put it over the color that you, in your opinion, is the worst. Now, a lot of times, so there's three different things here. The first thing is sometimes all the colors don't work and you're going to have to clean all of the nozzles here. Sometimes it's just one color and sometimes it's one color, but the other one is kind of faded. So you want to use your better judgment here. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing here in, in the video, um, but you can if you want to as well. But really what it is, is I usually do 10 milliliters on one color and then 10 milliliters on the next just to show you here in the video. Uh, but you can push this whole uh, syringe through one color that you feel like is really bad. And you can do that two, three times as much solution as you have. Uh, by the way, I'm working on getting some additional cleaning fluid. Um, so that product should be releasing soon. However, uh, back to what I was saying. And if you have another color that seems like it's kind of faded, but not completely gone, then you can kind of just maybe do one full syringe or half a syringe. Just use your better judgment. The more actually the better. You know, if you feel like you should do half, do a full syringe. And if you feel like you should do one syringe, do two. Because what you're doing is you're flushing out the, the ink. It's dried up ink that's stuck in the print head. And so once that is released and you're pushing that out, um, you're able to print again, but the more cleaning fluid that you're pushing through here the better You're not going to be doing any disservice to it I mean if anything, it's 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 best for you to just push more and more cleaning solution use up the whole bottle and Look out for that new uh, product that I'm coming out, which is the additional cleaning fluid and you can move the print head side to side or on the actual uh, paper towel so that you don't get you know um, all of that you know soaked in one area that's also an option so at this point once you're done you're going to want to uh, grab the paper towel take it out of there throw it away and there sh it should be completely dry that bottom rack should be completely dry at this point i hope that you were able to get your hands on some new ink um just remanufactured ink uh, like, like i mentioned before in the description below um, but that's some, that's going to be vital going forward is to keep full ink at all times Okay, and you're coming close to the end of the cleaning slash repair. You're gonna plug your printer back in. No, this doesn't cause damage when you have it unplugged, as long as you're doing it, you know, just every once in a while when you're doing this cleaning. So this next step is very important. And this is something that I, in my, initially I have left out, but it's very important for you to do this next step. Because without this next step, it's going to be very hard for you to be printing again. So this next step is vital. So there's a print head cleaning that you can do in the system. And I'm sure you've tried this uh, before you even tried this cleaning kit because that's the first option. However, after you use the cleaning kit, you absolutely have to uh, run a print head cleaning. What I'm doing here is I'm showing you, you saw that we had some colors, you know, all the colors printing pretty much on the first report now none of them are printing no matter if you have a problem or don't when you when you use this cleaning kit this is what will happen so what you do is you go to maintenance print head cleaning and you are going to run this cleaning until all the colors come back that's absolutely vital all right guys that's all i have for today uh thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe but until next time Set, which is you know a really cool feature and ability that you can have with this printer so this is going to end up being something that is very useful to you again if you're printing a lot and you, even if you have a small office um, this would be a good option for you however if you're printing at home and you're using this printer you are going to want to kind of uh, consider the size it is pretty bulky and uh, you are going to want to have a designated space for this printer uh, so that you don't end up having, you know, limited space on your desk or uh, wherever it might be. But if that's not an issue, then there really isn't a downside to this printer. All right, going into some of the other features, here you have your flatbed scanner. Um, and you also do have a top paper tray on this printer. I do find that to be essential uh, because you're able to scan multiple documents. So depending on who you are, that might be helpful, it might not. 
now you also do have a USB port here. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here um, and you can go check this out for yourself. But uh, during the print quality test, I was able to print some photos on photo paper with this printer and I was very impressed. 